Donald Trump vowed to take a fresh approach to Islamic extremism. Mr. Trump also promised, as part of his immigration policy, to put in place an extreme vetting system that screens for Islamic radicalism. He hasn't gotten very far. I put the responsibility on Mr. Trump with regard to radical Islam. He simply seems to have lost interest. I spoke with Ms. Ali recently and started off by asking her about the testimony that she gave to the Senate Homeland Security Committee. Well, what happened is that uh, the senators, especially the liberal senators, continued the head in the sand approach to the ideology of radical Islam. They wouldn't look at us, they wouldn't ask Asra Nomani, who co-testified with me and others uh, about it at all. But that aside, it is still a continuation of the head in the sand approach to radical Islam. You cannot defeat the idea of ISIS if you won't talk about the idea itself. And it's unfortunate that this idea is embedded, it's entrenched in Islam. And I made, and so did my colleague there, we made a distinction between Islam as a doctrine and Muslims as people, and we insisted that not all Muslims were radicals or Islamists or in any way, shape or form uh, other than peaceful people, but we really have to look at this ideology that is divisive, that is full of hatred for women, people of other religions. The uh, uh, most prominent example is the hatred toward the Jewish people and the state of Israel, uh, Christians, uh, homo homosexuals, people like me who left Islam. We've got to look at this because we are very taking, uh, the radical Islamists in the United States are taking advantage of the, uh, the freedoms we have and the free institutions to isolate Muslim Americans and inculcate into their heads to reject American values and are promoting this idea of hatred unless we understand that we wouldn't be able to eradicate ISIS, the idea of ISIS, anywhere. Yeah, I think you make some really important points, so I want to get into it. What was really stunning were the Democrats on the panel, the women on the panel, didn't ask you a simple question, not one single question about any of this, and that included Senator Harris. Three other Democratic female senators were North Dakota's Heidi Heitkamp, New Hampshire's Maggie Hassan, and Missouri's Claire McCaskill. Did not ask you a single question about this, female genital mutilations, which, of course, you were a victim of yourself, uh, growing up Muslim in Somalia, honor killings, forced marriages, and this unwillingness to assimilate to Western values, which also persists. Did you make the case that while these senators are so vocal when it comes to women's issues like pay gap, abortion access, workplace discrimination, uh, they really don't have a lot to say about what I just mentioned? They seem to be scared. They seem in some way to be horribly inhibited by this because really if you prioritize, you know, the, the kind of suffering that a child feels whose genitals are cut, and it's now happening increasingly in the United States, we are told at least half a million women are in danger, you know, at risk of being mutilated or have been mutilated. And if you know this child marriage, my foundation, the AHA Foundation, deals with women who come to us, they've been forced out of school, they've been kidnapped and taken out of the country and forced into marriages that they don't want. These are practices that are happening right here. They're beaten up, they're locked up. Why? Because they want to Americanize, they want to become like all other American girls. And their rights are taken away by their families and their wider religious community. And unfortunately, these senators didn't seem in the least interested. Why? Is it because of political correctness? Is it because We've, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that. I just find it unfortunate. Are there areas within the U.S., Ayan, that Muslims are coming and saying, I'm not going to assimilate, I'm going to practice, I mean extremists are going to practice Sharia law? Well, the, the, there are very many areas in the United States. The United States the Muslims in the United States are spread out where, unfortunately, the radical Islamists have had a huge influence on parents cocooning their children against, you know, America, against modernity, against freedom. But the good news, Maria, here is that there are also Muslims uh, like Asra Nomani who are standing up and they're increasing in number and they're trying to bring to light this, uh, should I call it a civil war within Islam or the discussion within Islam that is raging 